Hey guys, welcome back to Megan Grace DIY. Today's tutorial is going to show you how to make a basic cloth face mask that has a Velcro opening at the bottom so a filter can be placed inside and replaced as needed. Before we get started, I just want to make the disclaimer that a cloth face mask does not replace an N95 respirator or a surgical face mask. A cloth face mask is a good option if you have no other option available. It will still block up to 50% of particles, but if you have another option like an N95 or a surgical mask, that should be used instead. The supplies for this project are actually very simple. You're going to need two rectangles nine inches by seven inches of a tightly woven cotton or flannel. I've used here a cotton for the outside and a soft purple flannel for the inside. You will also need approximately seven inches of braided elastic for each side for the ears, no wider than three eighths of an inch and eight inches of Velcro. Okay, let's get started. Take one side of your fabric with the right side facing upwards. Then take the other piece of fabric and have the right side facing downwards. Place them together like a sandwich. You're gonna put pins along the top length of the fabric and you're gonna sew that together at half an inch. Once you've got the two sides sewn together down one side, take it over to your ironing board and press the seam open. Then fold the two pieces together and press the seam flat and closed. Now you're gonna take each side of the fabric. You're gonna press it up a half an inch. This is so you don't have any rough edges when you go ahead and attach your Velcro. For the next step, take the folded edge and take one side of the Velcro and lay it on top. You're gonna leave about an inch from the top open. Now we're gonna place the Velcro underneath the sewing machine. I'm going to sew with a straight stitch down the right side of the Velcro, go across the bottom, all the way up the left side of the Velcro and crossing the top. Now I'm gonna take the other piece of the Velcro and attach it to the other side of the mask where I've got the fabric folded up a half an inch. Once your Velcro is attached, close your mask, matching up your Velcro strips. Next, I'm taking the short side of the mask and applying a wide zigzag stitch to the edge. This is to keep the side of the mask from fraying. Once you've got both sides zigzagged, we're gonna go back to the iron. Flip your mask so the Velcro piece is at the top. About two inches down from the Velcro piece top, you're gonna to fold an inch pleat. You're gonna take your iron to make sure that stays in place. Once your pleat is in place, go ahead and repeat this step to form a second pleat below it. Not everyone will need this step, but I like to apply a basting stitch to each end after the pleats have been pressed in place to make sure they don't move when I go to apply the elastic. This is what your mask should look like at this point. Both ends should be zigzagged, all extra threads should be clipped, and you should have two deep pleats pressed into place. Our last step will require folding the edge over a half an inch to attach the elastic. With your edge folded over approximately a half an inch, you're gonna take one end of the elastic and hold it at the top, and the other end of the elastic and hold it at the bottom. You may need to place pins here in order to hold your elastic in place. With both the edge of the mask folded over and the elastic in place, I apply a zigzag stitch down the side of the mask. I go back and forth over the elastic three times to make sure it's attached properly. Since this is the greatest point of pressure, we wanna make sure it's attached nice and strong. Continue your zigzag stitch down the edge of the mask. When you get to where the elastic attaches at the bottom, make sure you go over it three times again. Then you're gonna go ahead and repeat this step with the other side of the mask. And that's all there is to it. 
Your mask is now done. You now completed a double-sided cloth base mask with a Velcro opening so you can place a filter inside. This can be used in any type of situation where you're wishing to have a little bit of extra protection, but should not be used in place of an N95 respirator or a surgical mask. Thanks again for stopping by my channel, Megan Grace DIY. I hope you found this tutorial to be informative and easy to follow. If there are any tutorials you'd like to see, please feel free to leave a comment below. And as always, make sure to hit the subscribe and the alert button.